here at Hims 14, we have a chance this year to catch up with some of the most influential people in the industry. And right now, we want to throw things over to Erin McCann, who's with Healthcare IT News. She had a chance to catch up with CIO and VP of Intermountain, Mark Probst. Erin? Thanks, Carrie. So, Mark, um, just last September, you announced that you inked a deal with Cerner to get the EHR platform across 22 of your hospitals and 185 of your clinics. And so how is that EHR rollout going thus far? You know, Aaron, it's going really well. Um, it's been a lot of work. It's a huge change for Intermountain Healthcare where we've always built our systems to actually go to a vended product. But so far, Cerner's been very attentive to the needs of Intermountain, which are a little special. We, we think we're special. And uh, it's been a good pro proje project so far. Now, every provider I've talked to thus far has never had a smooth rollout. What has, what has kind of cropped up? Are there any issues that you didn't expect or taking longer than necessary? No, we're going through a very agile approach. I mean, really iterative in the development of the system and the configuration. So to this point, no big surprises. But having spent 30 years in the industry and done a lot of these implementations, we're going to run into things that will be a challenge. But Cerner, again, has been very attentive um, and given us you know, the A-team, I think. So, so far, so good. Now let's talk meaningful use. Where, where is Intermountain right now with meaningful use? Uh, we are just completing certification of our internally developed software because that's what we primarily have. So we'll be certified, but we will not be attesting to meaningful use stage two in 2014. Um, and then, frankly, most of my peers are not as well. Now, for, for smaller providers who are really struggling with meaningful use right now, is there any advice on, you know, how to, how to do it, how to get it done without just being stressed out over? Well, one, I think there's a good reason to be stressed out. Um, I work on the HIT policy committee, and we've pushed very hard to get CMS and ONC to delay it another year or extend it another year. Um, that would be the best thing for all providers. Um, for the smaller providers, you're going to be very dependent upon your vendors and, uh, you know, I guess keeping the pressure on them, but also keeping public pressure on. This is a government-run program, and I think as an industry, we need to be voicing a single voice about the challenges of meaningful use. Now, you have meaningful use, there's ICD-10, there's new HIPAA security privacy rule. Um, what's top of mind for you right now, and, and what, on the other hand, has been pushed to the back burner? So the HIPAA rules are, you know, the privacy and security issues are number one. Have to be. Um, it's our responsibility to keep our patients' records safe. And I'll tell you, the change in the rules has been very, very difficult. So top of mind. Uh, Cerner's obviously right out there is a, is a big deal. And that, that solves some of our meaningful use issues as we look toward the future. But we don't get paid without ICD-10. And then that's clearly, that's why we're not going to even try to attest in 2014. Uh, to meaningful use because our energies are going into ICD-10 and security. Now, what does your day look like every day of the week? You know, wh where do you spend your most time? The, the sauna, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of the time is spent really trying to align our clinical and business people with information systems. The power at Intermountain Healthcare has been we work as one organization. I'm not fighting with the users. I'm not, you know, it's not a difficult process to get them to want technology, but also to do the steps that are required from a user perspective to get it, in, get it in implemented. Um, the alignment is so important. So I would say most of my time is spent working with IS and with our clinicians and our business to, to keep that alignment going. And as it does, we have huge success. Thanks, Aaron. We hope you'll keep it right here on HIMSS 14 TV for more of our interviews with the most influential people in the healthcare IT industry. For now, I'm Carrie Fairnack with HIMSS 14 TV.